There are a few extra areas on Intrastat that I'd like to go through. Um, first of all, customs and tax authorities have numerical codes that are used to identify items and services. We refer to these as commodity codes. We can specify what these commodity codes are in the relevant page. So if we just search for that up here. Fields available here are the number field, a description, and the supplementary units field, which we use to specify whether the authority requires details about the quantity and unit of measure of the item. We can then assign commodity codes to items. If we just go to our list of items and open a random one up here. Under costs and postings, under the foreign trade area, we have the commodity code where we can then assign these commodity codes that we've set up. Some countries make use of different codes for different types of intrastat transactions. These can include things like normal purchase and sales, as well as exchange of returned and non-returned goods. Dependent on what the country uses, we can set up these transaction nature codes and use them on our sales and purchase documents. To do this, we go to our transaction nature codes page and we can edit this list, adding and removing anything we need as is necessary. When handling Intrastat and business with EU countries, we need to designate Intrastat related details on the countries and regions page. I'll go there now just for reference. On this page, we can see a list of countries and regions that we have here, and we'll need to fill in the EU country region code field, as well as the Intrastat code field uh, with the relevant country codes that we have available to us. Both of these codes use the ISO standard code to describe countries and regions. You can see from this list a few examples of this. It's important to note that it's required to fill this in as the Suggest Lines batch job in the Intrastat journal will only retrieve entries for countries and region codes that are also set up with our Intrastat codes. Finally, there are some areas of optional setup I'd like to draw your attention to as well. If we wish to, we can set up transaction specifications. Here we can specify parameters to add to the descriptions from transaction types. We have areas which are used to provide additional data for countries and regions. We have entry and exit points where we specify the locations that we ship items from or receive items into from other countries. An airport is a good example of an entry or exit point. If we open up a purchase order, and we'll just take the first one that we have here, and go down to the foreign trade tab, we can specify the entry point. Um, similarly, for sales orders, we can find the relevant field in the same area. This information is copied from item entries when we create our journal.